aha moment. Here it is. These are the places, these are the people, these are the songs, these are the stories. This is what I want you to do with your music. And we continued working in this prison ministry, and about a year later, this church came to me and my wife, and they said, you know, we've been watching you guys for about a year, and I think God's done something amazing in your life, and we want to launch a campus here at church, and we want you guys to lead it. And I was thinking, wow, this is, you know, I didn't know what to say. I said, well, let us pray about it, and we prayed about it, and we decided to take the job, and they said, we want you to lead worship. And I was like, well, I'm not a worship leader. I've never led worship in my life. And they were like, yeah, we figured you would say that, but we believe in you, and we're just going to turn it over to you and see what happens. And, you know, God has a funny way of doing things and preparing you for certain things in your life. And I've learned over the years that all God really wants to do is say is yes, you know. And, and most of the time, we're never prepared. We're never ready to do what He's asking us to do. But if we just say yes, He gives us the tools that we need. prepares us for those moments. And for me, I grew up on a, on a construction site as a kid. My dad had a construction company. And after college, I worked for my dad for about 15 years full time. And I was living some of the worst days of my life, some of the darkest, most reckless, wildest times I've ever lived. And my dad knew that. He knew I wasn't in church, so the one thing that he did is he blasted Christian music on his job site every day, all day long. And I couldn't stand it, I'm going to be honest, and so it's kind of funny that I'm doing this now. But what it did for me was I realized the first time I stood on stage and I led worship in church, and I realized that those songs and that music had become part of my DNA. It had been ingrained in me in a way that I never truly understood. And I worked at the church for about four years and I'd always dreamed of being a songwriter. And I got invited to Nashville to write some music and I was saving up enough time to drive back and forth to write songs. And on this particular week, I'd saved up enough time to go over there for about four days and I'd been there from Monday to Friday. And Friday afternoon came and I'd written all the ideas that I had and I was about to go into this songwriting with a couple of people and I didn't have any ideas. I was, I was sure that they were going to find out that I couldn't write songs and I was opportunity. I remember sitting in this room, a guy by my